Hello and welcome. It is time once again for another Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BB3D channel. This week I will be making a modification to a modification so that I can install a modification. What am I talking about? <laughs> Stick around and I'll show you. I'm Brian and you're watching BB3D. You may remember a couple of weeks ago we installed this modification here. This is a uh, cable wrap that's wrapped around the ribbon cable and we've got a ribbon cable keeper right here. This little part is designed such that you've got a nice spot where you can zip tie around the cable wrap and keep the ribbon cable in place and that keeps it from getting snagged on the x-axis limit switch arm. I also replaced the hot end with the Micro Swiss All Metal hot end. And when I did that, I started to notice that there was a, a more pronounced salmon skin effect on my prints, and I wanted to do something about that. Well, apparently the thing to do is to install one of these, a little TL smoother board, in between the cable that normally would drive the stepper and the stepper itself. And it helps to smooth out the stepper driver signals, I guess, that are going to the motor. I haven't fully researched that, so I don't know how it does what it does but I suspect that each one of these tiny black boxes on this board contains magic. Now we're gonna need a way to mount that on the back here. And what I decided to do was leverage this existing design so that we could mount the board here. Now there's enough room to mount this board and not have it hit anything. And the cables are long enough that we can feed them from inside the little black box on the back of the carriage here into the board and then around to the stepper. So let's go back over here. I'll show you the design. I knew I was going to need a model of the smoother in order to be able to design around it. So I put this together real quick after taking some measurements with my calipers. Using that, I was able to design, to design an enclosure to put around it. And as you can see, that fits right together. And if I set that to transparent, you can see down inside of it how that smoother fits inside. With that box designed, I then, where's my, yeah, we're flying far away. I took a look at the original part that we had designed for keeping that cable in place. And I needed to get this, I guess I'll group those together, mounted in such a way that it would stay out of the way, but would be usable. Let me pull that over here. Bring this up. Scoot that over. And basically this is the orientation that I put it in and I extended this piece out to accommodate it. And the end result is this guy right here. So this has everything that we need it to have. It's got this nice long spot here. This still mounts to the back of the X carriage. Zip ties still go through here and screws will go up through here. I'm using, what am I using? Uh, M3 by eight millimeter screws to hold this to the top half of the case. And the top half of the case, is just this piece right here. We'll zoom in on that. And the holes here are uh, slightly smaller than three millimeters so that the screw can get a little bit of bite into it and everything's lined up and this just kind of fits right about there. Yeah, anyway, you get the idea. Let's switch back over to the real world and I'll show you the, uh, the printed result. I'll skip a little bit of the boring stuff, like slicing the model and sending it to the printer, but I'll go ahead and put the time lapse here, and I'll be right back when it's done. So we're back from the time lapse, and this is the part printed out in the real world. And I've also got a lid to cover up that smoother board, and I've got the smoother board itself right here, and that fits in place here. And this fits here, and we just put some screws in the back 
and holds everything together. I'll show you. I designed this so that the screws were concealed on the bottom and they don't show on the top just because I wanted a smooth appearance. But, you know, sometimes you want the screws to show. You want that to be part of the design and I could have designed it the other way around, but this is what I went with. Now, we'll go put this on the printer. All right, we're gonna remove these two screws and then we'll unplug the ribbon cable. A oh, word of warning, I probably should have said this earlier. Make sure your printer is turned off and unplugged. All right, screws are gone. Let's go ahead and unplug that ribbon cable. And we'll just set that aside. Now let's remove that black metal cover, set that aside. And this is the ribbon cable that goes between the extruder stepper motor and that breakout board on the back of the carriage. Let's unplug that. And we'll just kind of move that out of the way a bit. This is the ribbon cable that comes with the smoother. We'll plug it in where the stepper motor had been plugged in. Now we'll take that black part and put that back on, that little black cover, and then we'll go ahead and screw the uh, cable keeper with the TL smoother mounted back into place on the back. Now that that's in place, plug the stepper motor into one side and the ribbon cable that came with the smoother into the other. And now we can reattach our ribbon cable. And that just plugs in in the usual spot there. And once that's plugged in, we'll attach some zip ties to keep that spiral cable wrap in place. And we'll just cut those zip ties off. And there we go. We'll check our motion and we've still got good range of motion. And you'll notice that the smoother mount board, bring this back over to the side, there is plenty of clearance between that smoother mount and the rest of the printer mechanism. So here's a kind of before and after example. This is the before part and you can see that salmon skinning and this is the after and the after is a lot smoother. So the TL smoother is definitely doing its job. The smoothers are pretty inexpensive. It's about uh, 15 bucks for a three pack on Amazon. Uh, you can also install them on the X and Y axes. I don't know if it's gonna have that much of a benefit for me on that, but I'll probably go ahead and do that in an upcoming video. They really do make a difference on the extruder though, when you've got the Micro Swiss all metal hot end. So now we're at the end of the video where I say things like like, subscribe, and share, because those things really do help the channel out. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so by clicking the BV3D icon right over here, and over here is a video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Well, now that I've got that smoother installed on the extruder, I'm going to go print some more stuff out, and you go print something cool too, okay? I'll see you next time.